join us as we put Bombas to the test versus crazy compression for the winner of the ultimate compression sock challenge. And stay to the end to hear our final verdict. Finding the perfect running sock can be a huge challenge. I have been running for over 30 years and I have tried a multitude of socks. Now that we're getting ready for the dopey challenge, I needed to up my game in regards to compression socks. Because if you're like me, you have noticed that as you age, when you're doing long runs, you need to have some compression socks. Now, if you're in your 20s or 30s and watching this, you can just scroll on by until the next video because chances are that you don't need compression socks yet. However, if you're in your 40s, 50s and beyond, I would highly recommend running with compression socks. It can be a game changer and prevent some longer term damage. I will admit that I had a friend 10 years ago who ran a race with compression socks and I thought, oh my goodness, you're an old lady. Well, friends, be careful what you say, because three years after that, I became the old lady who had to wear compression socks when I was running, because what would happen is I would go for a long run, and then after I finished taking a shower, my feet would be like tree trunks. And this is not a healthy pattern to set up for the long term. And you're trying to do something healthy. You're running, you're improving your endurance and your cardiovascular fitness. You don't want to end up doing something that can hurt your body in the long term. And when your body gets used to pulling these fluids in your ankles and your feet, it kind of stretches everything out a little bit and makes it easier for that pattern to be reproduced. And for someone like me who spends 10 hours a day on their feet at work, it's important to make sure I've got good lymphatic drainage when I'm running and when I'm not. And in general, socks are really important when you're doing long runs in particular because you want to prevent blisters, you want to manage that moisture and create as much comfort as possible while you're doing those long runs. All right, so first off, we have Bombas. Bombuses have a seamless toe, offer 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury compression, have strategic cushioning on the ball of the foot, and are 70% polyester. The other thing I will add is that I've been running in my Bombuses for four years and they're still in pretty good shape. Crazy Compression on the other hand, well, they have super fun patterns. They have 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury compression. They have that seamless toe as well as the strategic cushioning. According to their website, they are made in North Carolina and they're made of 97% stay cool nylon. Now I will say, although this is a new pair of socks, I have been running in crazy compression socks now for several months in order to do this review. So over the years, I have noticed with my Bombuses that they do a good job of preventing that pooling after a long run, as well as the fact that they're pretty warm, which when you live in the Pacific Northwest and most of the time you're running in pretty cool weather is really helpful. While the crazy compression socks do not keep you as warm, which when you're running in the summer and your race is in Florida can also be very helpful. The Bombuses list that they have more compression than the crazy compression. And I was wondering how that would actually affect me. What I will say is that I actually noticed that the crazy compression actually worked better for me. And let me explain. I stand on my feet for about 40 hours a week. So I tend to have a little bit of pooling that will happen just regularly during the week. I also run first thing in the morning. So I literally get out of bed and go for a run. What I have noticed is that when I get home from a run, my ankles are actually less swollen when I'm wearing my crazy compression socks. Then if I'm wearing my Bombuses or if I'm wearing just a regular running sock without any compression. In fact, the change has been so noticeable that I actually went back to crazy compression and ordered more socks in order to be able to wear them during the day at work. Now, there is the fact that the Bombuses will keep your legs warmer than the crazy compression. And that is something that needs to be considered depending on the environment that you're running in regularly, as well as the environment you're doing your race in. My guess is, is that as I get into those colder months of November, December, and January running in the Washington area, I probably will rely more heavily on my Bombuses. However, for Dopey in Florida, where it's going to be nice and warm, I'm definitely only bringing my crazy compressions. Here's the thing. Both brands are amazing and have worked well for me. 
So I recommend you consider the other factors that you're looking for in regards to compression to figure out which brand is best for you. So the main differences between Bombas's and Crazy Compression, although they both offer compression, Bombas offers more than Crazy Compression. They both have the seamless toe, they both have the strategic cushioning, they are made of different materials. Bombas's are polyester, Crazy Compression are nylon. The Bombas's are gonna keep you warmer, the Crazy Compression are gonna keep you cooler. And the Bombas's are pretty cute, but the Crazy Compression have great designs. However, if you're running with long pants, you're not necessarily gonna see them anyway, so that may not be an issue for you. So now it's over to you. Have you tried Bombas's? Have you tried Crazy Compression? Which one do you prefer and why? Drop a comment below and let us know, because that will help other people make an educated decision on the best running sock for them.